Janet Collection um, Afro Twist Noir Premium Synthetic Hair. And it said it has the feel of human hair. So I use this. I use three packs. Yeah, three packs. And um, I use the, the same crochet needle I used last time. I use these two rollers now if you want your curls to be a little tighter you can use um smaller rollers but i did use these two this time what i did different was that i did pre-dip the hair before i put it in this time because i didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to dip it while it was in my head that's not to say that you're not going to have to dip this hair again because truth be told, this hairstyle right here, honey, this is a high maintenance style, okay? Four to five days after this hair has been in, or you pre-dipped it or whatever, you still gonna have to turn around and re-dip it. Unless you like that look. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the four to five day look because I still like it. It's like more of a combed out kind of look. But I, it's still cute. But if you want your hair to stay like the curled hair you have when you first do it, you're going to have to re it. But anyway, like I said, I pre-dipped it. Then I put it in. Now, I put the back in the same way I did the first style. I did the back. Because I feel like if I did, the I did the invisible part up here. If you can see that. Because I felt like. I wanted to, to look as realistic as possible. Um, now, if you want to do the invisible part or how I did the invisible part all over your head, that's cool. It's going to take longer, but you can pull it up or pull it down. But I just decided just to do it right here because it was easier and it was faster and I didn't want to have to go through all that hassle. This hair. And oh, I used on the, on the side right here, I did leave some of my baby hair out. And I use this edge control, which I love to death. <laughs> it works good for me. I don't know how it worked for all types of hair, but for my hair, it lays down really nice. But anyway, let me get to the tutorial. <laughs> let me get to the tutorial. And after that, I'll be back. Now I'm just kind of showing you my braid pattern. It ain't nothing big. I know I'm looking all type of crazy right now, but <laughs> this is it. It ain't nothing fancy. I just kind of, for some reason, I just cannot braid my own hair. It just never comes out looking neat. Anyway, this is it. I kind of made curve this so that I could kind of have some fall to the face, and then I just took this back. Then, in the back, and that's about it for the. So this is how the hair came, and all I did was cut it straight in half like this. Just cut it in half, and they left me with these two halves. So this is how it comes, and I'm just going to take it and split it in half, the size that I want it to be. If you want it to be that size, you can just roll the whole thing together, okay? I'll take one of the rollers. I'm going to twist the end. I'm going to twist the end together. I'm going to put it right there on the end. Then I'm going to take 
the other piece and go right on top of that so it'll stay. And then I'm just going to rotate my wrist all the way to the end. Then I'm going to take this there and I'm going to snap it right there on top of it. Make it stay. And that's how I did all of these pieces right here. So here I have some boiling, steaming hot water. And um, all I'm going to do is, after I've rolled it, I'm just going to drop it in there. Here's one of the pieces that um, I pre-dipped. And then I'm just going to um, open the hair up. can't even see this boy. Just going to open the hair up to where it's two pieces like that. What I'm going to do is just, this is not the invisible part. This is just how I did the um, back of my hair. So you just slide the hook through there like that. And you hook the hair on. Make sure you close the latch. And you just pull it through. Just like that. Then you're just going to open up the knot and pull the whole section through. You can tie it just like this if you want to, to make it tighter. If not, you can just leave it like that. The invisible part, what I'm going to do is, I'm just sticking the latch hook through just like I did for the other one. You latch the hair on. And you close it. And you pull it through. But this time, instead of pulling the whole um, section of hair through, what you're going to do is you take one piece. Just take one piece of hair. And you just pull it through. No, no, no.